Hey folks, this is Kalani. Welcome to the Antorus Raid Guide for Normal and Heroic. Let's kick things off with the Garothi Worldbreaker encounter. This boss is pretty fun for a raid's first boss and it has two main abilities you need to watch out for. The first is Annihilation. Several small green circles will spawn around the encounter area and will explode after a short duration, dealing a huge amount of raid-wide damage. You will need one to three players, depending on your raid size, to stand in these circles before they explode to prevent the raid-wide damage. Each player who helps soak a circle will take quite a bit of damage, so make sure your raid is topped off before the circles explode. The main other ability is Decimation. A few raid members will have a debuff applied to them and after a short duration it will expire, causing a large green zone to appear underneath them which will explode. I would recommend having your raid stacked up in the middle of the area and anyone who gets this debuff needs to run out to the side. Let the zone spawn outside of the group and then rejoin your friends. When these zones explode they will deal a small amount of raid wide AoE damage so make sure your healers are on top of that. There's also a tank ability which your tanks will have to swap for. Fell Bombardment will target the tank with aggro and the boss will fire small explosions at their location for 5 seconds. If anyone gets hit they'll take a huge amount of damage and get knocked back slightly. To deal with this your tanks will need to swap and the target of Fell Bombardment will need to use a movement cooldown to get far enough away from the boss for the first shot. After that they can just run in a straight line to avoid the rest of the ability. Try to keep these shots to the edge of the room to keep your group happy. It's also worth noting that if at any time no one is in melee range of the boss, he will start dealing a huge amount of damage to the entire raid with Carnage, so a tank should be in range at all times. When the boss reaches 60% health on normal or 65% health on heroic, the boss will power up his Apocalypse Drive. This will deal a huge amount of constant raid-wide damage. On heroic mode you'll also have to deal with Surging Fell. Long straight lines cover a large portion of the room and explode after a short duration. If you get hit by any of these you're likely going to die, so avoid them at all costs. To stop the Apocalypse Drive you have to destroy one of the two weapons which are now exposed, the Annihilator or the Decimator. If you don't manage to destroy a weapon in time, the boss will wipe your raid. Depending on which weapon you destroy, the boss's abilities will change. If you destroy the Annihilator, then the Annihilation ability will be removed from the fight. If you destroy the Decimator, then the Decimation ability will be removed from the fight. However, removing one ability from the fight will also empower the other. Whenever you destroy a weapon, the boss will cast Eradication, which deals a huge amount of damage but is reduced the further away you are. So your raid should hightail it to the back of the room, while one tank stays a little closer to prevent the boss from casting Carnage. Your tank might have to use a cooldown or two to stay healthy. After destroying a weapon, the boss will also gain two buffs. Empowered increases the damage the boss does by 20% and Searing Barrage does constant damage over time to your entire raid. Both of these abilities persist for the rest of the fight. If you destroy the Decimator, the Annihilation ability will spawn significantly more circles which need to be soaked, and if you destroy the Annihilator, the Decimation ability will target about twice as many players, so you have more people who need to move out with their large exploding circles. We found it easiest to destroy the Decimator, as the circles which need to be soaked can be handled by one player quite comfortably, so your raid can stack loosely in the centre of the room for the majority of the fight and just move out to soak all of the circles. After they explode you can move back into the centre and just continue the fight as normal. This strat requires a lot less movement and is probably less risky as the circles really don't do a great deal of damage. When the boss gets to 20% health or 35% health on Heroic, he will cast Apocalypse Drive again. This time to stop it you will need to destroy the remaining weapon. After that he's going to cast Eradication again so your groups need to head to the back of the room to reduce the damage and the boss will also gain another stack of Empowered and Searing Barrage, increasing his damage by another 20% and increasing the damage over time your entire raid is taking for the rest of the fight. From here it's a game of kill him before he kills you. The only ability you have to deal with at this point is the tank swap mechanic and all of that AoE damage going on. On heroic mode you'll also have to deal with surging foul so make sure you're not getting hit by those huge lines. You should be stacked up as a group to help your healers out and you can nuke the boss's face off. And that's all you should need to take down the Garothi Worldbreaker on normal and heroic. Make sure you check out all the other boss guides to make sure you're ready and prepared to take on Antorus. Remember to leave a like just below the video before you leave and if you want to see more make sure to subscribe. But apart from that, thanks for watching folks, good luck and have fun and as always I will see you next time.